All right, hey, what's up guys? So today let's talk about my gym bag. So my bag that I go to the gym with, I usually carry off body at the gym. Um, one, because my main purpose there is to work on my fitness, pay the cookie toll. You know, I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to do better for my body versus uh, try to be all cool guy and, and hide a gun. Um, also, because a lot of my workouts aren't just this crap. I'm, you know, I'm doing jumping, I'm burpees, I'm, I'm running around, I'm, I'm kind of doing more shit that's a little bit more kinetic, if you want to call it that. <laughs> See, I put that in there. Uh, but no, I'm doing a little bit more of, of uh, movement-based workouts and more circuits and things like that. I don't like um, static stuff if I can avoid it. I know sometimes I need to do it to isolate certain muscles, but otherwise I go ahead and I, I do a lot more um, moving around. So I carry off body at the gym which may throw people off. Oh no, that's terrible, John. What if somebody takes your bag? Well, it's right there, I can see it. Now, <laughs> now the other thing too is, uh, you know, if, if something does go down at the gym, hopefully there's enough uh, periphery or enough people around that I can do stuff about it. But otherwise, the, the gun is there for defensive purposes. It's there for me to be able to hunker down in the position I'm in or play the, the best part I can in that situation. But if it's my day, it's my day, man. So. Going further, right, like carrying off body for me uh, is is difficult um, because I want to access my gun if I need it right now, but I also want to be able to hide it and look like a normal human being at the gym. I don't want to portray myself too openly. So I usually use an LBT little EDC bag. So LBT makes a simple bag that's nothing too fancy. It's not like a vertex bag that somebody can be like, uh, that's got a gun in it for sure. This one's more of like, eh, it's just a backpack. And if they look closer, they could see there's a little bit of hook loop and maybe they could tell it's a tactical backpack. But other than that, it's very nonchalant. It's very simple looking. And that's the way I kind of like it. Um, I do put my patch on there. So if people recognize it, cool. If they don't, cool. Um, but let's go through like how I carry. Now, the outer pockets, I usually leave them empty. Reason for that is one of them holds a water bottle when I'm using it uh, or when I take it with me. And then the other one is for my phone. So I like keeping my phone in there when I work out. That way it's easy access. It also acts as a tether to my backpack with my Bluetooth headphones. So if my Bluetooth headphones start to fucking jack out and I'm like, wait a minute, my phone should be real close to me and my, my backpack moved, I'm easily notified by that and I can go hunting. Now, that's usually what I do with these pockets is water bottle and my phone in one of them. So simple as that. Second thing we'll talk about is the actual interior of the, the, the front pockets. So this first big front pocket, which I like, is simple. I keep snacky poos in there because I get hungry and shit. So I keep snacks in there. That's the only thing that goes in that pouch. Um, every once in a while, I may throw in like maybe... Um, what you call it, like a spare water bottle or something like that. But otherwise it's just snacks. So it's food or sustenance for me in case I need to uh, replenish a little bit. Um, especially if I'm really hungry at the gym, that's not, that's not a good thing usually. Going to the top one, this is where I keep my keys, my wallet. I'll also put like some business cards. I'll put my pen in there, things like that. Like simple human being stuff. Uh, things I just need access to, uh, to go back to the car or if I need to pay for something, things like that. So nothing fancy. So the outside, very simple human being stuff. It's when we get into the big pocket that it starts becoming not human being stuff, right? Not normal human being stuff. So opening the front pocket, right? I use, let's see if I can, well, it's in there pretty good, but I'll get it out in a second. So first off, my blaster is in here. I also have, let me try and get this out without fucking breaking everything. I also, I keep it in armadillo concealment. I don't know if they still make it, but they used to make a panel that Velcros onto things. And I'll use one of their Xfers with my gun in light and set it up like so. And yes, the gun is hot because this is how, how I keep my gym bag. Um, I keep a spare mag with it, which is also one of armadillo concealments. <clears throat> and then I also keep a spare mag on there with what is or used to be the same concept to my nerd, by the way. But I'll, I'll keep a tourniquet readily available on here as well. Now notice it's all staggered off to the side and canted a little bit. It's because that angle and that position gives it 
uh, easier access for me to pull the gun out. As you saw, it's in there pretty good, and then once I pull the gun out, then it'll slide out because it's, it's causing a little bit of a jam up. But the gun comes out nice and easy. That's the one I care about. So I keep it like this on a normal basis. I also have like one of the Blue Force Gear little um, handcuff pouches with a set of handcuffs because if I have to detain somebody in my little sexy shorts, I, it's gonna be harder to do so. <laughs> but if I can handcuff them, it makes it a little easier to do certain things. So I'll do that. That's on the, the front side when it goes into my backpack. So it's towards the front of the, the actual bag. The back side just has some lifting straps just in case I need to protect my wristies a little bit. Um, I don't use them a lot anymore because I don't lift heavy anymore. I used to use them a lot and, um, and then I got away from lifting heavy. Um, the panel is from Blue Force Gear. They also make it still, but it's a little bit different. LBT has one that's a little bit different, um, but it's their, uh, I believe it was the uh, dapper pouch panel that they first created a long time ago. This is an old, old one. So it, it may not look like this if you go to buy it now. It may be gray, I think, gray and light blue, which isn't a bad thing. I like kind of like seeing how visible it is. Going further, I have a med kit in here, right, with full a full blowout IFAC. So another tourniquet, a Sharpie, freaking uh, hemostatic dressing. I have a chest seal in here, an Israeli dressing. I also have like duct tape. It's a full out blowout kit. It's the ones that I used to offer with another company, um, but they, they're out of um, service now. So hopefully I'll get them back and start doing them again through my website instead. Going further, down at, at the back end or in the bottom, I used to have like, or I use this as my COVID mask, um, but it's just a, a simple neck gaiter. I like using these neck gaiters if I was going to the gym because then I could just slide it up and down. And if somebody was walking by, I'd put it back up. If somebody walked away, I could put it back down and, and just work out like a normal human. Um, this uh, is also, um, I just left it in here, but it's not a normal thing that I keep in my backpack, but it could be offering for some anonymity if I needed it. So some other stuff. Then the last two things that I keep in my bag or in my gym bag are pretty simple. One is my notebook, right? Now, if you can tell, this notebook is torn the fuck up. Why? Because this is the notebook I started with in the army, the first one that I was issued and started writing down my workouts in. So this is the one I went on all my deployments with me got plenty of workouts as you can see it's been it's been utilized quite a bit still have some empty pages so i'll probably add in some more if i find more that i like but if i don't know what to work out for the day i'll go through these find a workout that i like or that i've done before and then go through that have a plan when you go to the gym don't just go there willy-nilly it's the same thing i do when i go to the range i don't go there willy-nilly i go with a plan okay today i'm going to work accuracy stuff at the gym okay today i'm going to work freaking chest and back Roger that, you know, and I'll, I'll go with that kind of thing and, and go through my chest back workouts in my book and find what I like if I can't think of something at that moment or I don't write it all down for myself. So I like doing it like this. It's very, very <laughs> beneficial for me. And, and for me, this, is, this has been a notebook that's gone to every gym session I've ever had um, for the most part. I would say 99% of the gym sessions. And then the last thing I have in here is a little, uh, ballistic panel. It's like 3A or level three, sorry. Um, yeah, level 3A uh, body armor from, uh, I believe LBT used to stock these and they put them in their LBT bags back in the day. And I just had a spare one. So I just throw it in there because why not? So it's, it's not right at, rated for rifle stuff, but who knows, maybe I'll, I'll put a rifle rated one in there eventually. But that's what I keep in my gym bag guys. Nothing too fancy. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to keep it simple, but also have all the things that I always want to have in case I need them right now. So no matter what you do uh, when you carry stuff in general, I, I want to always have the stuff that I need for a moment that I'm going to need it right now. It, that's that's how I look at it. So if, if, that's, uh, if that makes sense to you, cool. If it doesn't, cool. I mean, hey, if you got other ideas and stuff, go ahead and put them below. Let's have a conversation on how you guys set up your gym bags. You know, maybe some of you guys with duffel bags have a little separate, you know, different way of going about it. Um, I used to use a duffel bag for the longest time, but then I found my gun used to go scurrying around in that duffel bag and, uh, and I didn't like that. So I like keeping it in, in some kind of panel that keeps everything nice and sturdy for me. 
Um, but up to you guys. So let me know what you guys use down below and, uh, and let me know how it works out. Cool. Hope this helps. Take care.